If you've been following this channel for a while, you're probably well aware that I do love me some featurettes and behind the scenes stuff. And I did not anticipate we were going to get one or a behind the scenes featurette reel for 1917. And at first I would have been like, well, it's a feature for 1917. That would have been cool. This week, though, there's been some stuff I've been hearing about this movie. So I'm not going to say it just in case um, I will because we're going to look at the trailer, too, that came out very recently. Since that, one, uh, that was the impression I had that the trailer was out and there wasn't a accompanying feature out of it. But there is. So we're going to take a look at that first. But just in case you're not aware of some of the stuff going into this movie from what I've heard and what I've read, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm hoping the feature out will. If it doesn't, I'll mention it at the end. But there's some really cool surprises with this movie. There definitely, you know, I said before, I thought it looked great from the first trailer, but this is going to be a very visceral experience for World War One. I'm very shocked with some of this. So, <laughs> with what I've heard about this movie and what's going into it, it's going to be a, it's going to be a ride worth taking. So, let's take a look, and hopefully they'll mention those points. But again, if not, I will mention what I've heard at the end of the video and what I know is true based on some of the articles I read to confirm said uh, rumors that I was hearing. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at this behind the scenes video. I'm very excited because again, this film does look really good, and I'm. As I said in that previous video as well, I've definitely not brushed up on my first or my World War One history. I studied World War Two in grade school and not so much World War One. So this is going to be a learning experience for me. But this is why I like about movies so much. They can teach you things that sometimes, you know, in the midst of classes and life, you don't often have time to pick up a textbook for your own leisure reading. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at this feature at. As always, we're going to watch this first and we'll talk about it more in my condensed review second. I'll watch the video together. Let's watch it. I'm very excited about this one. The First World War starts with literally horses and carriages and ends with tanks so it's the moment where modern war you could argue begins i sure love this guy's movies from the very beginning i felt this movie should be told in real time every step of the journey breathing every breath with these men felt integral and there is no better way to tell the story than with one continuous shot Three, two, one, go! Do you see now what I was getting at? <laughs> I don't know how they're going to do it, but I really can't wait to watch it. How did you do one take? You got to give people lunch breaks. There's probably some way, but... From the first moment I talked to Sam about the idea of it as a one-shot movie, I knew it was going to be really immersive. It's meant to make you feel that you are in the trenches with these characters. This is going to be great. The film in itself is a slice of time. These two young men get sent on a mission to deliver a message to stop an attack. Action! So they've got to cross into enemy territory on a race against time to deliver a message that will save 1,600 lives. And the camera never, ever comes away from the two characters. There's always that sort of get out of jail card that you have with the movie. Well, you know, we might be able to cut around this or we might take These that. These sets are out. extraordinary. I didn't think they'd be that. Well, they, they did look good from the first trailer, That's but possible, just understand. from that shot alone with the building in the background, the dance of the camera, the fragments of the civilization, that was incredible. The actors doing. When you achieve that, it's really beautiful and exhilarating. Sometimes you have a camera being carried by an operator hooked onto a wire. Wow. Uh, the wire carries it across more land. They're like tethered to, like, a, and it's unhooked again. Two cranes or something? Runs with it, then steps onto a small jeep, which carries him and. Something makes me appreciate cinematography a lot more. Around the corner. <laughs> you realize all the technology they utilize and get it to work so effectively here. Interiors. This is endless exteriors. Beautiful no location, location choices. never repeats. So you're constantly moving through landscapes. Being such an exterior movie, we're very dependent on the light and the weather. And we kind of realize, well, for a start, you can't really light it. Action. Because, you know, if you were running down a trench and turning around 360 degrees, there's nowhere to put a light anywhere. <laughs> and because we were shooting in story order, we have to shoot in cloud to get the continuity from scene to scene. So some mornings, the sun would be out and we couldn't shoot. So we would rehearse. And we're rehearsing. 
and then we'd be waiting around everyone with their eyes up in the sky trying to see how long it would take for the sun to move behind the cloud. That was been <laughs> arduous test of patience. So you are also in the lap of the gods. We can definitely appreciate the result. Once it starts, it can't stop. If something goes wrong, you just have to keep going. Until you actually see it on a screen, you don't really realize how immersive it is and how that technique kind of draws you into it. For me, engagement is very important. And that is behind the way in which we've decided to shoot this film. I wanted people to understand how difficult it was for these men. And the nature of that is behind everything. Wow. That just makes me appreciate this movie even more than I already did. I mean, I knew about the whole, that was what I was alluding to earlier, the one take thing. I thought that was very impressive. You know, oftentimes, at least when, uh, I'd say this year when we talk about, well, was it this year? I think it was, no, it was, uh, it was last year. When we talk about one take shots, we are first, um, if you're a Marvel fan, the first thought, or maybe just a Daredevil fan, the first thought in your head is, oh, Daredevil's one take shots, right? Everybody loves those. Everybody raved about those when it first came, or when, they started with that, and then they that went through two other seasons with the, uh, the season three one. I think it was what, 11 minutes of a one-take shot. That one was like, the most impressive. You thought, like, how can they make it any better than the first two? Ooh. <laughs> Just wait until 2018, and then you'll see what we were waiting for for how many years that they had teased it. And it's like, oh, here's our fi or the final season. Sadly, it's the final. Well, hopefully it won't be the final season. Disney Plus, maybe, or Hulu or something. But anyways, <sighs> Netflix. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, where I was going with that, after how many years of waiting for that season to come out after they first teased it back at Comic-Con, whatever year it was, it was like, yeah, I I think we were definitely rewarded. <laughs> that one take shot was certainly impressive, but to do a whole movie like that, I think it's, I think it's the whole movie. I'm trying to remember exactly how he said it. I, my impression was that it was the entire movie. I'm like, how do you do that? But someone with Roger Deakins, um, with his repertoire, I think mean, you can manage it, and Sam Mendes. Like I said, I'm a big fan of a sky. I absolutely love Skyfall. I adore that movie. Done so well. I really can't wait to watch this one. Yeah, like I was seeing too in that first trailer, I've seen like a lot of the um, the outdoor tones in the air. Um, just what it looks on screen it looks very much like Skyfall. It's very reminiscent of that. Um, let me see if I can confirm that really fast. If that was the entire movie. Um, with one continuous shot. Okay, so it sounds like it is the entire... How do you, how do, you do that? <laughs> I mean, that's... Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but I can really appreciate it from what he was saying about wanting to make sure he documented the journey of the people fighting in this uh, battle of World War One. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this uh, battle taking place, the story here, so the film is going to be teaching me something, but I really can't wait to experience this. I mean... This looks really amazing. Like the war movies this year that we're getting in like the la the last section of 2019, um, with this in Midway. I'm actually seeing Midway this week. I can't wait for that one either. This looks really good though. Looks like it's gonna be a must see in December. You know, amidst the Christmas season, which is always a big hassle. <laughs> it was last year. I definitely want to see this. I'm gonna set aside time in my schedule to watch it. I don't remember exactly what the release date is. Uh, it's releasing sometime in December, I know of that. On the, oh, it's released on a Christmas day. Oh, I said last year I might be able to watch a movie on Christmas day, and I don't remember which one it was, but I can try this year, because I want to see this movie. That featurette really impressed me, really engrossed me like the first trailer did. Of course, we have the second trailer to look at in a minute. That'll be another video, can't wait for that, but I'm very excited based on this featurette to see what it's going to look like to have an entire story be told in one take. No repeated shots, no nothing. How do you do that? And we're going to find out in Christmas, apparently, with, you know, amazing talent to boot. Colin Firth, Bandit, Cumberbatch, Mark Strong, Richard Madden. I'm huge fans of all of those guys. I really cannot wait to see this movie. That featurette was definitely a winner for me. I absolutely love learning the story about what's going on behind the scenes here. Like I said, I hope that kind of, you know, I hope that impressed you too, hearing that. Because again, I didn't know about that until a couple days ago when someone said, oh yeah, they filmed it in one take. I'm like, I haven't heard about that. Are you serious? And I looked up, I was like, oh, they are. 
<laughs> but yeah, that was that was very impressive. I'm that was definitely a great lead in to watch the second trailer tonight. I can't wait for that. That again, as I said, will be in another video. But what did you guys think of that feature at? You know, do you like watching feature as much as I do? Because sometimes they teach you things like this. But I, I quite enjoyed it. But whatever your thoughts are, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below if you'll be seeing 1917 on Christmas Day. Let me know. I will definitely appreciate it if you can do it. If I can't, we'll have to see. <laughs> Again, the holiday season's always just, oh, <laughs> I it. I'll try. I'll try and force it. I do that in the past. You make life work for you. <laughs> okay, but anyways, feel free to leave your thoughts down, down below. Don't forget all the good stuff. Like, subscribe, and hit me that bell. Make sure you hit that bell as we're going to watch the trailer together in a couple minutes. Um, Hopefully, I'll try these out the same day, um, so it will be only within, like, within seconds of this. But until that time, or whatever trailer we get to watch together for the first time next, I will see you guys then. At that point, thanks for watching, or this point, however, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourselves, your fellow man. God bless. Peace.